Good morning. We're going to conclude uh, Acts 12, verse 20. It's a verse that's loaded with uh, lots of special concepts and ideas. And uh, Herod Agrippa is down at Tyre and Sidon. They've just shouted the voice of a god, not of a man. And we want to just look at um, what is said about preachers uh, who win people to themselves but not to Christ. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4 through 7 tells us this. For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not mere men? What then is Apollos, and what is Paul? They are servants through whom you believed, as the Lord has assigned to each his role. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, and God made it grow. Neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything but only God who makes things grow. And trying to find uh, kind of a concise outline of pastors that win people to themselves and uh, and then end up, um, uh, pride comes before the fall. We've seen so many pastors that fall and so many people that have done some great Christian work are now, you know, apostate. They've, they've left. Um, they, they fell because of the world. And uh, I want to look at the narcissistic pastor. Now, immediately you're saying, well, there's a big word there, but uh, a narcissist is the focus is on himself. The narcissistic pastor habitually turns the conversation back to himself and often making up for the, his weak areas. Now, these are just things as warning signs. I think they're warning signs to us as people. When all you talk about is yourself, you're narcissistic. And narcissism takes the focus off of Christ and puts it on oneself. Uh, secondly, narcissistic pastor responds to correction with anger and self-defense. Uh, you can't you can't out talk them. You can't. They they're unteachable. They won't learn. They won't grow. And uh, it's all about themselves again. Narcissistic pastor is more concerned about the immediate welfare of his ministry, namely the check, than long term health of God's sheep. Uh, the, to them, ministries become a job. And then uh, fourthly, the narcissistic pastor uses church structures and church sermons to support their own agenda. And what is in it? What is in it for me? Or this is how I believe, and I'm going to bend that scripture a little bit to make sure you know I'm against this or I'm for that. The narcissistic pastor is overly independent and unwilling to share ministry with others. They withdraw from interaction with others. They don't go to social events. Uh, they're, they're only seen with a few people at, at any time. They don't reach out. Or when they do reach out, it's simply kind of a political thing. Um, number six, the narcissistic pastor is often unapproachable and surrounded by an entourage. They don't reach out and no one's reaching in. And finally, the narcissistic pastor misuses the Bible to defend them himself or themselves, uh, his opinions, his agenda, and glorifies his ministry. Herod was a narcissist. So God dealt with him, and we'll look at that next.